stop number, <coughs> excuse me, stop number three of the, <coughs> excuse me, I got choked. Stop number three on the Traxxas Truck Series brings us to Texas Motor Speedway for running in the Windstar World Casinos 200. 200 laps of distance here today. <coughs> Should be an interesting race here today. At the uh, famous mile and a half oval. And we have a Toyota Dodge front row for today's event. Which we'll show you with the starting lineup for today's running of the Windsor Royal Casinos 200. Here's your starting grid. So that was your starting grid for today's running of the Savannah here at Texas. 20 laps of distance here today <coughs> with 37 trucks about to go at it. And here comes the command to fire them up here at Texas Motor Speedway. Drivers, start your engines. The man's been giving the party engines as we get set for running here, for racing here today. Jordan Culp has his first pole of the season uh, in the number 56 snap uh, Toyota for Michael Waltrip Racing. <coughs> one of the <coughs> one of two Michael Waltrip trucks in the field 56 and Jordan Culp with Josh LeBalkin in 55 Mike Becker is the outside in row number two row number one excuse me Pace truck that's on the pit road. Look at this view of the trucks here at Texas. Here at Texas is the green flag way. So we're underway here in the Windstar World Series 200. Jordan Colt pulls ahead on the start here with Ryan Acosta back there in second position there as he takes a second away from Mike Becker. Stephanie Gardner in 15 goes inside now as he gets by, past Luke Walker in the 10 and the 43 of Mike Becker. Becker stuck on the high side. Brendan Berg dives inside in 21. And meanwhile, who leads his first time in the race? Looks like Acosta might do it. Yes, he does. <coughs> Ryan Acosta leads the first lap here at Texas. Just nipping out Jordan Culp and, and Brandon Berg goes inside of 70 Gardner and shuts her up the track. Now Cameron can do in 47. At the inside of... Oh, Stephanie's around and so is Joshua Balkin. Stephanie Gardner, number 15, gets spun around. I don't know what happened to cause that little episode. and Apparently it looked like that Brandon Berg got shoved into the wall by Stephanie. Might have been what started it off here. <clears throat> There's Stephanie on the high as we look again in replay. She's off the wall, gets into Brendan Berg, puts him in the wall, and then Mike Becker just shoves him, and Ty Dent got close to being in the crash. But then they saw... You saw 55 of Joshua Balkin. And Balkin's going to go to the track, and... Wow. <clears throat> How Joshua Balkin did not create a big truck, big pilot was beyond me. <clears throat> but an unfortunate break for Stephanie Gardner in the 15. She was running, she started up in the top five. And she's out of the race there because of a crash. Didn't look like her truck was all that badly damaged though. At any rate, though, Ryan Acosta is the leader of the race. Cameron Gnu's in second position. Third, Jordan Culp, the pole sitter. Fourth is Ty Dent, the five. Brandon Berg is in sixth position. Seventh is Mike Becker. Eighth is Jordan Newman. Or seventh is Jordan Newman. 
Eighth, Eric Enrage. Ninth is Luke Walker. And tenth position is Johnny Gardner in the other Johanna Long truck. One truck of their of hers is out, so now another one is still in. But right now it's Roush Family Racing that has the lead right now with Ryan Acosta in the 16 3M Ford F Series. As we are green flag again, we're back underway at Texas. Six laps in the books and 14 laps to go. We have 34 laps in store for the Castrol GTX Cup Series race. And look at look at Jordan Colt power moving the inside of Cameron Gadu and Ryan Acosta. He's got Ty Dent shoving into the five. It looks like Jordan Culp will get the first, will get the lap he lost on the first lap. And meanwhile, Mike Becker is in this mix as well. 43 for Rich, for driving the King Richard driving King Richard Petty's 43. Becker won out of that 43 in the Castle Chief Dix Cup series, but still once in the truck series, though as Becker, as you recall, has a 19 in the cup series for Chuck Little. And ooh, Becker got close to Ty Dent in the five. Dent, Dent leads the first, leads, leads this lap, and, and the yellow flag is waved again. And it's Jasmine Acosta. Oh, Daniel Voiles. Oh, we got a big crash. Dylan Thoreau, Kate Culp is in it, and Badson was in it. And smoke coming in the cockpit on Jasmine that cost this truck. Her day's done. And I don't know what happened to cause the crash to start off with. It wasn't up in the front. And apparently... Yeah, apparently Acosta, she was up on the high side. And something tells me Char Henry Sanders is going to give her a little bit of help. And he does... Yeah, Henry drives Acosta in the wall. Henry's in the wall. Gets they both get stuffed. Dylan Thoreau gets in the crash, and I don't. How Kyle Matthews did not crash, and same with Tyler Batson in 34, and Thoreau's gonna slam hard in the wall. So is Acosta. Voiles gets collected, and Batson's in it. So you saw how that crash unfolded. So pace truck lights are off now as Mike Becker leads the race here at number 43, the STP Dodge. Ty Dent in the second position now. Third is Eric Enrage in the 14. Ryan Acosta fifth or fourth position. Fifth is Jordan Culp. Sixth, Keith Batson. Brendan Burke scraped the banals in seventh. Eighth is Joshua Osborne. Ninth, Jeremy Doobie. And tenth is Jordan Newman. Pace truck that's on the pit road as the green fag waves again. We're back underway with Seven laps to go here at Texas. Mike Becker jumps out to a lead on Ty Dent. <laughs> but Ty looks like he's going to get the help from Eric Enrage in 14. So you got Petty Enterprises leading. Henrik Motorsports now goes inside with Ty Dent in the second position. Oh, he shoves Mike Becker up high try up to the high side. And there, in Rachel, the leading truck for Stuart Haas Racing is up there now. In Rage, looking inside of Ty Dent. Ryan Acosta is in there. Jordan Colt, Keith Batson, and here comes In Rage on the inside. Chevrolet's one side by side. Here comes Jordan Culp in 56. Three wide for second place.
Hello! Acosta shoves Ty Dent, and oh, this is not gonna work right there in the, in the middle. Goes. But since Ty Dent's up in the inside, is up in the wall, here comes Joshua Osborne. We haven't talked about him at all today. He's up in the top five. Now he, he's going to try for second. Four laps to go. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a wild four laps. Eric Enrage still out in front. Jordan Culpin, second position. Osborne trying for third inside of Ryan Acosta. <clears throat> and now Johnny Gardner is in there as well. Osborne having a hard time getting around Acosta. But now here comes Jordan Culpin, 56. He's or Osborne inside of Jordan Culpin, let's just say 56. Three laps to go here at Texas. Johnny Gardner inside now, trying for the three wide, and Acosta goes up in the wall, and here comes Gardner inside of Osborne and Culp. And Osborne slams the door on Johnny Gardner. Two to go. Eric Enrage still out in front. Number 14 trying for his first win of the season. But does Jordan Culp, does he get him? He's going to try the inside lane. Osborne is going to try to shove him. And here comes Jordan Culp in 56 to the inside. They're side by side in the third and fourth turns now. 56 of Jordan Culp. Takes Michael Walter Racing. Snap a car out in front as the white flag waves. One lap remaining at Texas. Will it be Jordan Culp or Eric Enrage in victory lane? And don't count Ryan Acosta out just yet. And at 50 and at 16, so gonna make it run the inside. Enrage off the wall a little bit. Here comes Acosta. In the 16, he, he tries the inside of Jordan Culp. Culp slams the door on him. But, in, but here comes Acosta inside. Here they come off the fourth quarter. Acosta and Culp side by side. It's Jordan Culp pulling it out at Texas. Jordan Culp, the pole sitter for the for the this event, wins the race at Texas. An unbelievable finish to today's event. And here's the average speed 118.505. Yeah. Eleven thousandths the margin of victory in today's event. And there's the finishing order. Jordan Culp wins the race. Ryan across the second. Johnny Gardner comes on third. Joshua Osborne is up fourth. Fifth, Eric Enrage. Looks like he might have had the race one. Jessica Shelton, we haven't talked about her at all today. She finishes in sixth position. Seventh, Stephen Pollard, the third. Keith Batson, Daniel Culp, and John Douglas, the top ten. And then comes Ty Dent, Mike Becker, Jordan Newman. Jeremy Dibby, Trent Dunham, Chris Washer, Brandon Burke, Eric Burton, Tyler Badson, and Seth Cole, the top 20. And here's the rest of the finishing order and the uh, attrition list from 26 to 36. 11 trucks out of the race, all because of crashes from 26 to 36. So, unfortunate situation for those drivers here to, at Texas, but. We'll see. We, we, I don't know if we'll have the same thing happen at the next race on tour at Martinsville. So, but it's Jordan Culp who ends the victory lane here today at Texas as he takes number 56 Nap Auto Parts Toyota to the winner's circle. First win of the season for Michael Walter Racing, and he will take the points lead in the in the series with Jessica Shelton in second position, Kimber Gadu, Zachary Fitzwater, and Eric Burton in the top five. And the points after four events with 21 left to go. And Jeremy Doobie right now in 20th position right now in the points chase. And there's Seth Cole currently last. Let's see where they are at, at in the points. As we head to Martinsville Speedway for the Goodies Fast Payment Relief 250. Don't miss it. <laughs> 